have grants today. Um, actually, it's still the following day, just a uh, different video. I'm going to go ahead and weld on these brackets. I went ahead and tack welded this one. So it should be about ready for me to take this clamp right here off. And oh, looks like we got a little bit of fire on the wood, so I need to get a wet paper towel and wipe that off. So I can dampen that so this way we don't have to worry about fire. The fire is definitely not something we want. Let me move the gas can. Like I said, I never fully prepared. Alright, so I gotta set this camera up and get a wet paper towel. Actually, a wet paper towel, and then I'll set this camera up. I'm gonna set the camera up, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start welding. Now, what I'm gonna do with this wet paper towel is I'm gonna wet the areas down that I'm gonna go to, or close to where I'm gonna be getting it hot. This way, they won't wanna burn. So, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna get the camera set up. Alright, see you then. Alright, so again, this one, get it to test. Yep, I'll make sure. I'll make sure. Okay. You can stand on it and it'll hold me. Now I'm gonna go grab the lights. Now it may look like it went down just a little bit, and that's because the tires go down a little bit when I get on there. Now, just so y'all know, I'm not bragging about weight. However, um,. Well, you all say, okay, just a rough estimate, Jay. Um, how much do you weigh so we know exactly what these things are holding? Um, like I said again, I don't like bragging about my weight. But, I weigh about 175 pounds. Yep, you heard it right. So, um, what that means is me 175 pounds um go here can stand up on those and they'll hold me which comes up under the definition of they are strong and here's this is one of the reason i say you know i told y'all as far as what they're going to be holding it's not going to be a lot and a lot of weight. And that's because it's not. How many trailers do you know with 175 pound lights on? Other than a fire truck. Um, but... Uh, one, oh, never mind. You know, that's what I'm thinking. Look, at, even with wind resistance, you're not going to have that much weight. Alright, I'm going to both these things on and I'll be back with you in a minute. Alright, so now, let me adjust this a little better. I have everything on here and this is what it looks like with the new lights. So we bolted these on here and like I said, hey, you look, this thing ain't moving except for a little bit of the light. Yeah. The bracket moves a little bit on the outside and that's just the fact that it's not going to be strong out here because this is where all the wind resistance is. But still, like I said, I stood on this and it held me fine. So these lights are going to be safe and secure while on this little thing I made. Now, however, I may end up drilling a hole right about here because when Pa puts the lights um, wires in, what we may have to do is drill a hole right here so we can put a zip tie to hold the lights against this instead of them just hanging down and getting hooked. And then we're going to go down and feed them through this part of the frame. And then they'll just come out underneath somewhere and they'll all connect together and all that good garbage. Anyway, 
So, Pa finally has real lights on his trailer. See, there's the original lights. You can't see them. But bands are moving these lights. I got some ideas me and Pa could do. For one, there's a nice little step in case you gotta reach in the back for something. You know, only one's connected or you have trailer jacks under it. Or maybe we can do something with the license plate, put it back in here somewhere. Probably not. But just thought. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Like I said, I know that some of the footage I wasn't welding the best. And had to go over a couple things. And like I said, the wood did catch on fire. And a real welder would have taken the time to take the sides off. Uh, however, this is a one man. I, let me rephrase that. This is a two man job being done by one man. So, um, yeah. It is a little tough doing things by myself sometimes. It would be nice to have some help in the shop. But, you know, I find ways to get by. Like I said, this wood caught on fire. Just wet it down. And, you know, had I not wet this wood at all, because um, I didn't wet this when I started this side. However, I did have to come back a little later with some wet rags. Had I not done that, this wood probably would still be sizzling some. And had I not doused it with water, i go put it back up there tonight. It could have caught some leaves on fire and we have a forest fire. Which is why you need to make sure that your metal is completely cooled down. Now, I don't like I said, I don't recommend getting it soaking wet because what happens is, from what I've heard, is it gets hot and then you wet it real quick and then it just starts warping. So, something like this is not too major, major, but if you're doing something like a big building, you do not want to cool down real quick. So, uh, until next time on Jay's Top Garage, I guess this is, see you later, um, and please come back and subscribe, make sure you watch more of my videos, I really appreciate that, like I said, keep subscribing to help keep me grow, and I'll see you in the next video. So, thanks for watching, please subscribe and like, and leave a comment down below what you think of the trailer lights. See you next time on Jay's Hilltop Garage.